Hello guys, Avikash here. Welcome to my new series of video tutorial where, we, uh, where I will teach you ISP.NET online video website with Microsoft Access backend database. There are a lot of advantages of using this system. Uh, you can log into your database from anywhere in the world just using just uh, you have just have to be connected to the internet or your smartphone you can just uh, log in read data write data you can host your website using a normal computer with just some IIS services installed you don't even need a server Microsoft Excel database is a standalone so it does not even require SQL server or anything like that uh, you don't even need Microsoft Office there is just a runtime file on the website and uh, it's absolutely free to create as well and uh, this database I will be showing I will be using an online inventory system but uh, you can uh, use the method I am showing here to create any kind, absolutely any kind of database so let's just review what we are uh, what we will be doing throughout this project let me just switch over to our online database okay so when your users uh, will type the URL uh, they will be greeted with this screen the logout screen uh, from the address you will give uh, so they will have to log in and you will create their login username and password and give to them so let me just log into the system Once they log into the system, they will be greeted uh, with uh, any menu design. I have just designed a simple menu like this, the inventory system. Uh, this is based of our access database, which has currently data on it. So if we see current stock, we see we have a whole lot of items in stock. And if we open an item, we will see how much is balance, how much stock is in balance, who entered the transaction, who did a stock take and everything for any item we want and we can also quick search the item using uh, words like uh, if we find uh, say words uh, all, all kind of words we, 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 which we have in stock will come and if you see the history for example we have 69 of this item in stock and when it was stock taken it was only one and then we got it from another side 4d and you get the idea so it just uh, keeps our track of transactions and stock in and stock out and and who entered the records and it gives you the balance uh, we have uh, low stock here so these items are low stocks uh, so for example galvanized end plug if we open it it says it's marked low stock if we un untick it and go back and you see it's no longer low stock uh, we can uh, manage the inventory here we can just enter the code of the item and <coughs> the item will pop up write the transaction here what happened to the item either it's stock in or stock out and save and the stock will be affected uh, let me give uh, example here test uh, transaction and it says 11 in stock and we got like 20 more and we save and now the balance is 31 so and if, if you don't know the code of the item you can have a online code book like this where people can refer everything is sort alphabet order and to add new item we go to new item and just new item and then fill in the information and save so this is the whole website uh, very simple simple design easy to use uh, we do not we do not uh, use any graphics so it loads fast on every device and okay so from the next part of the video I will start Visual Studio we will need this Visual Studio and and teach you and guide you how we do a walkthrough on step by step walkthrough on how to this do this entire website on how however many video tutorial series we have thanks for watching this video please subscribe share and stay tuned for the next video thank you